Howdy. Morning. Morning. Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. Well, I feel like a lot of our ice fishing videos start this way. It starts with Dustin and I at a gas station, super, super early in the morning, and uh, Luke Cornier just bails. Like, that seems like the theme that we've had a lot lately this year. But welcome back to the channel. It's probably 3 a.m., and uh, we're heading out to do some fishing with a good buddy that we met last year. And I'm gonna keep the species a secret for a couple minutes into the video because I know you guys probably know what it is. But uh, yeah, we're gonna go do some special fishing today. We're making a three hour drive to go and do this. And I am freaking tired, but we had to get some gas in the old Tacoma. Before we go any farther, today's video is brought to you by these guys right here, the Guggen Squad. And if you can tell right here, I got the new vest on and I got the crew neck underneath. This has been a good base layer for me this year. And then I throw my Guggen Squad jacket on and I'm good to go. If you guys want to check it out, it'll be linked down below. And you can use my code MINDAC to save some money. They're coming out with some awesome outerwear and you guys don't want to miss out on it. Dustin, are you excited for today? Oh, I am beyond excited. We did this last year and it was a blast. Uh, ready for round two. Ready for round two, but on the trophy lake. So that's all we're gonna tell you right now. All right, thought I'd open up the video because gas stations always have the best lighting for filming. You guys stay tuned. We're gonna do this drive. We'll see you in about three hours. Three hours later. What are you listening to? Some TI, bro. Dang. I made it, dude. Oh, God. That, there you are. That was a haul. Well, Luke made it. Um, I did. I'll be honest, dude. When I did the intro, that was when you didn't answer. Yeah. So I'm like, oh, Luke slept in again. He has pink eye. He's not going to be here. Oh, God. It was double pink eye, John. Woo! Boys, 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 and girls, we made it to the first stop of the morning. It is 6 a.m. Luke's here as you guys saw and we're fishing on the Indian Reservation and I don't know if I ever explained this last year but I think there's a lot of different rules so we have to have Darius my good friend uh, he has to be there with us he has to sign some papers to allow us to come on the reservation to fish and a lot of you are gonna say oh trout's out of season because we're fishing trout today okay spoiler alert fishing trout uh, trout is actually open year-round on this lake we're going to and on the Indian Reservation so that's kind of the deal today we're doing some trout fishing we did this last year and we're not going to the lake that we fished last year Dustin I, it was a banger. We caught a lot of eaters, like, I don't know, 15 to 17 inches. But today we're going to a, a, a trophy lake, Darius likes to call it. Um, this place has a lot bigger fish. And I think there might even be some brook trout in there. So it's either brook or brown. But big rainbows, maybe brook or brown trout. <sighs> Hopefully it'll be good. <laughs> I'm ready to catch some trout, dude. A few minutes later. Oh my Let's god! Oh go, dude, that thing's huge! Oh my Justin, chill! Dude, dude, that is a nice trout! What the heck, bro? Oh my god, dude! That is a dude! Dude! dude. Dude, Dustin needs to chill. That is a tank. Luke and I are literally getting our cameras ready. Oh my ready. god! And Dustin started fishing and he already slapped a tanker. As I was saying, we were literally getting set up and Dustin's like, I got one. So I ran over here and uh, had to come film it. He's always hooked up first. I swear to God, that kid's always hooked up. He caught a dandy. Dustin, you've been fishing for what? Five minutes maybe? Yeah. And you're using the dinner bell by Frostbite? Yeah, with a plastic. Dustin already smacked a nice one. That's a nice trout, baby. Let's go. I'm not surprised you're the first one to hook up, honestly. Oh. You son of a gun. I got medium sized gold dinner bell with a little mustache worm on there. Ooh. Frostbite, I believe this is 36 inch royal flush. Yeah. You're a beast, bro. Yeah. Well, that is pretty hilarious because I mean, we always make the joke, Dustin always catches the big fish, always catches the first fish, you know, like I'm not even surprised. But guys, today, as you, you know, maybe can tell now, we are fishing for rainbow trout. We're with my good buddy, Darius from Rose Bear Guide Service. You guys wanna check him out. He will be linked down below. Uh, you can message him. If you wanna get on some nice rainbow trout or any type of fish in general, he is definitely the man to do it in the Red Lake area. How's it going? The man, the myth, the legend, we meet again. 
Last year we came out with you and you invited us again, so you must not hate us that much, huh? <laughs> not too much. <laughs> well, if you guys want to check out Darius, he'll be linked down below. But the bite window's kind of like a you know, sunrise to about 10 ish or so or 9.30. That's a good time to do it. So I'm putting the camera down. While well, I'm putting the camera up on my chest, let's make something happen. All right, making my first drop down. Don't know how much you guys can see on the GoPro. I got the Garmin set up. We're fishing 19 feet of water. That's what she says. I'm excited. This should be pretty good, hopefully. I always have bad luck with trout. If you guys watched the previous videos, I'm not a big trout guy, so I gotta get more in tuned. came in out of nowhere oh that's the first mark i've had today he came in and it was a big mark came zooming right to me and then he just looked at it for a second and then swam away but that's trout fishing man like they'll just come in out of nowhere when you're least expecting it but nonetheless that's my first mark of the day uh if you're curious i'm using a medium-sized dinner bell gold tip with the night crawler which i'll show you in a little bit and then i'm jigging obviously with my favorite rod the royal flush 36 inch light <laughs> Oh god, that got me going. Cause like that, I don't know if you saw it on the GoPro, but it just came zooming over to me, stared at me, and then it just yeeted. So I don't know if I need to switch downsize to a smaller dinner bell, or if I need to work my cadence a little bit different. Again, like I said, I'm not a big trout guy, so I don't really know how to do this, but I'm gonna try my best. Oh my God. Come on, do it. There he is. Yep. Oh, that was gnarly. Absolutely gnarly. Oh my gosh, you can see him under the ice, dude. This is so cool. This is so cool. Come on, come on. A lot of head shakes, scary, 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 scary. Come on, give me your head. Ah, no, give me your head. Ah, let's go, dude. Dude, that was freaking sick. Nice. Bro, I was looking at Dustin, and then all of a sudden I see a mark, and dude, he I, I start, I, I, he wasn't reacting really well, so I just started racing up like a lake trout, followed it right up, and smoked her on the dinner bell. That is a beauty of a fish. Oh my God, dude. Look at that. Absolutely munched the old dinner bell. Beauty of a fish. Oh my God. Look at your turn now, bro. Dude, I know. Dude. I'm the only one that hasn't oh. caught one or had a hit. That I was one fish. so freaking sick. Look how beautiful that is. That is like one of the bigger rainbow trout that I've ever caught in my that life. That thing is huge. Yeah, that thing is so beautiful and sick. But we're going to uh, bonk this guy in the head off camera. And then we're going to fly him up tonight to eat. But that was awesome, guys. Like, that one came trolling in on the bottom. And it it didn't do anything. So then I dropped it all the way down. He turned around, made a U-turn. And I started reeling up a little bit, like kind of like like a lake trout, and he just followed it up, and then I dead stuck it, and wham! Oh, that was freaking awesome. All right, boys, we're marking. Big mark on the right, coming this way on the bottom slowly. Now it disappeared. No clue where that man's is at. Maybe old dinner bell can ring him in. Ding, 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 dinner's ready. Dinner bell. Come get the dinner bell. Oh, oh. All over me. Oh, no, no. Oh. What happened? Oh, come back, come back. 
Oh no. Oh, I just had one nip me and I missed him. Oh, that is Spain without the S, brother. Oh, dang, dude. I was just sitting here. Then a mark appeared out of nowhere. And I saw my rod go like this. So I'm like, I bet he's got it. Apparently, he did not have it. So that's my first missed fish of the day. Honestly, I'm not surprised. I thought I'd have more missed fish by now because I'm butt cheeks. <sighs> what do you do? Well, since the fishing's going a little bit slow, uh, taking some snacks from Luke. This is a Fleet Farm special. Milk chocolate, peanut caramel clusters. We're gonna do a little taste test here. Oh my God. Well, I think I need to go to a dentist. Just Are they pull, rock solid? He's a rock solid, just pull the teeth out. Hmm. Why, cause that I don't go a lot, it's pretty good. Hmm. There's some like peanuts in there and stuff. But we're gonna keep fishing. Fishing's a little bit slow. We're marking them here and there. I missed that one, so rip, but yeah, stay tuned. Check it out. That is the haul today. All of these fish are about 20 inches to 19 inches. And these things are freaking tanks, man. Like, they are absolute fatties. The bite has slowed down immensely, and it is about noon o'clock. And the boys and I, we still have a long drive back. Plus, we got to clean these fish. So, I think that's where we're going to end the fishing portion of this video. Again, huge shout out to my guy, Darius, for letting us come out here. If you guys want to do this or any other type of fishing, his link will be down below below hit him up and let him know that i sent you thanks Darius. but we're gonna pack up now and i'll see you guys back at the crib luke do something dumb i'm not gonna do anything dumb john why would i do that see when i act normal and don't do anything dumb you always ask me to do something dumb can you fall on the ice and use those picks i could want me to that is why I asked. What if I did this? A little longer than a few minutes later. All right guys, it is the next day and we're gonna do the cooking part of this video. This thing looks amazing. Check it out, she was swimming less than 24 hours ago. That meat turned out super well. It looks like I'm back in Alaska on the Kenai River. These fillets look absolutely delicious. Today I'm gonna do a super easy recipe that you guys can copy and do as well if you ever catch some trout. So sit back, relax, and let's show you how to do this. So the first thing I'm gonna do is season this bad boy up. I got some Traeger rub, fin and feather and we're just going to get after it. All right, I'm doing this left-handed, so this is not gonna go very well, but we're gonna shake some on here and get it all seasoned up in our tin foil. Now that we have the trout seasoned up, the next step, we're gonna take some butter, and this is just some Land O Lakes butter, nothing too special. We're just gonna take this stuff and we're gonna put it on our fish just like so and this butter is just going to make this all taste a lot better next step is the lemon all right this brings out some zest in the fish and we want to squeeze this all up on here oh my gosh yes 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 i do like a little bit of lemon in here and last but not least we're going to take some craft grated parmesan and cheese made by nick goslin over at nb edits and you wanna sprinkle this on our fish. This right here is optional, but I love this step. I think this makes everything a little bit better. You don't have to do it like I was saying, but uh, I don't know. I do like this little touch here. This is what the fish looks like before you put it inside of there. And the last thing you do is just cover it up with the tin foil and then stick it in there. We got this set at 400 degrees and you want to put it in here for about 15 to 20 minutes depending on the thickness and size of the trout and now we just sit back relax and wait for this fish to cook
Brandon, I can't talk right now. I have trout to eat, bro. All right, the trout is done. Moment of truth. We're gonna see if it, oh, oh I already see the butter melted in there. Oh, oh my. That looks so good. Are you, you're actually gonna eat some? Yeah, trout's really delicious. Okay. I love it. Oh, it looks so good. It smells like pizza in here. I don't know why. But when I came out of the room, I was like, why does it smell like pizza? I thought we were making trout. So this is what the trout looks like. Looks absolutely fire. And then we made some rice to go along with it. And we were using used plates that we used for tacos last night because we don't have any clean ones. All right, guys. Check out the plate right there. Mm-hmm. That looks good. We're gonna go in for a bite with the old trout here that was just swimming. No clue if there's gonna be bones in this or not, but we're gonna send it. Cheers. Wow. No bones. Do you like how I'm just immediately housing this and not saying anything? Yes. Mmm. Mmm. Mmm, a bone. Pour right out. So good, so easy to do. Took 20 minutes, 17 minutes. Got ourselves a nice, delicious meal, somewhat healthy. But I think you guys should try this recipe out just because of how easy it was and how delicious everything turned out. I'm gonna continue to eat this and then I'll catch up with you guys after dinner. Name this show, boys. Name the show. Lindsay and I just got done eating. We're sitting here watching our new favorite show. Drop a comment down below. Let me know what show are you guys watching when you're eating dinner. But hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. That trout was absolutely delicious and super, super fun to catch. Even though we didn't catch that many, we ended up catching some freaking tanks. Huge shout out to Darius for taking us out. Remember, his guide service will be linked down below if you wanna go out with him. I highly suggest it. Every time I go out with him, something good happens. So if you guys wanna get in on the action, check it out. And thank you guys for watching. We will catch you on the next one.